Okay, so the plan had been that I would do reading diary for the month of June and share with you daily what I was reading, what I was thinking about, the books that I was reading. And instead what happened is I started vlogging. So instead of me having short snippets to put together of my reading journey in the month of June, what I have is a lot of vlog footage. Surprisingly so, because as I've stated before, I don't do a lot. Well, I don't think I do a lot, but I have plenty to record videos of. So, instead of a reading diary, so to speak, for the month of June, it's going to be a montage of vlog footage. So, I hope you all enjoy. Okay, so what's funny about me vlogging is that every time I go to vlog, I go to get my... Hi everybody, it's Tatiana. Like, I'm actually doing a separate video <laughs> that I'm going to record and edit. Uh, just got back from church and I had to run by the office to drop something off from, that I accidentally brought home the last time I went into the office. And I had to go to the grocery store and there was this nice lady at the grocery store who offered to let me go in front of her because I only had like two things of cheese and I was getting an iced tea because I was th super thirsty, probably on the way to dehydration because I hadn't had anything to eat and it was hot outside and it was a little toasty in a church that I went to, which is an older historic church. Um, anyway, uh, so I was, you know, I told her no, like I don't go to the store during time frames that are busy and expect to get out super quick. So it didn't bother me that she had quite a few items to check the more than I did. And so while we're in line and I'm pulling up the key ring app to get my member card number so I can swipe it, she buys my food. Totally, like that's never happened to me before. Um, and it was just like super duper sweet of her. And it, it was small, but it she didn't have to do it at all. And that was just really, really sweet. So super duper grateful. And a testament to how toasty it is outside. I am super shiny. Like, I can feel it. <laughs> that I am super duper shiny. Because I am like on the cusp of sweating. Not actually sweating, but so close to sweating. <laughs> I guess this is what perspiration is. I don't typically perspire. I typically just sweat. But yeah, I'm on the cusp of sweating because it's super warm outside and I need this liquid to stay in my body because <sighs> nothing to drink. So. Anyway, I don't know why I'm even bothering to blot other than the fact that I'm recording and I know I look like I was real close to some chicken grease on this camera. So, anywho, I'm going, after doing all of that, I'm going to go take this makeup off and change my clothes and we twist my hair and then I'm going to cook and watch TV. Maybe Big Bang Theory comes on today too. It came on, it comes on Saturdays on TBS. Maybe it comes on today too. Fingers crossed. Or it'll be Big Bang Theory on demand. Oh, and I want to watch Doctor Strange because that's on Netflix. I may not get to read it until much later. Doctor Strange is on Netflix and the second season of F is for Family is on Netflix. I can watch that while I'm working, but Doctor Strange is going to get watched today. I just finished Doctor Strange and it was okay. Um, it wasn't as good in my opinion. It wasn't as good in my opinion as some as some of the other Marvel movies. But then I, I felt kind of nope. I didn't. Mm -mm. I felt better about Guardians of the Galaxy than I did about Doctor Strange. So it was okay. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't go see Doctor Strange in the theater. Not that I would have been mad for spending the money, but 
I was good waiting for it for Netflix. Because I like movies, so I wouldn't have been upset that I spent the money to go see it. But again, I'm good with having waited to see it on Netflix. So, now I am going to go cook spaghetti and see what's on regular TV. What's up, everybody? So, I am making more headway in Balm tonight. I have to say, the writing so far seems to be a huge growth, which is good. That's what's supposed to happen from first novel to the second. I need to read maybe 20, 30 pages in which, because I think that this is a huge development, or what is the word? Um, screw it, I can't think of what the word is right now, but there's a, big, there's a difference. It seems to be a difference, and it could be also that it's two different subject matters. Both of them, Winch takes place during slavery. Balm takes place shortly after Juneteenth, um, after the Civil War. So, like the same year of Juneteenth is when Balm takes place, I think. So, <laughs> it's, you know, different time periods, different situations in Balm versus in Winch. So, that may be it, but it really feels a lot more mature than Winch did. So, yeah, enjoying it thus far. My TV, I paused my TV. Um, I've been reading, it hasn't been a couple of hours, but I paused my TV while I was reading, and so it's like an hour and a half after you pause it, it starts to play again. It's timed out, so it starts to play. So the Simpsons just started playing, so I'm going to watch and read on commercial break. So it is Thursday. I did not record yesterday, which was Wednesday, duh, because today is Thursday, uh, because I was so tired. It is like a major clusterfuck when fatigue and insomnia hit you at the same time. Time. I have had the hardest time sleeping this week and then just being and feeling tired and drained all week long. So Monday, I didn't know what was going on. I, I didn't go to bed till almost three in the morning. I had already stopped reading because I felt tired. <laughs> but I couldn't go to, and I stopped reading at like 1130 and I still didn't go to bed until three after or just before 3 a.m. Tuesday, I had an attack of an allergy of some kind. I don't know what I walked through when walking Buffy or what, but I had a major itching fit and I was scared that I was gonna break out in hives. So I actually ended up, to, ended up taking Benadryl Tuesday night. And typically when I take medicines that have a sleeping agent in them, be them pain medicine, the medicine for my migraine. The most I get, like people go to sleep on that stuff and they get eight hours to 10 hours of sleep. I am so jealous of people who can do that. The most that I will sleep is five hours. Um, so Tuesday night, I took the Benadryl and I took the Benadryl around midnight and I wanna say I woke up about 4.30 in the morning. And then I was able to go back to sleep. But yeah, Tuesday, I had a double dose of coffee. I made a huge, Wednesday, yesterday, I made a huge uh, mug of coffee and drank the whole thing. Typically when I make the huge mugs, unless it's like the coffee, um, hot cocoa mix that I make in the winter, when I make huge mugs like that, I don't typically finish the whole mug of coffee. And then last night, I, you know, didn't have an allergy fit, so I didn't have a need to take any Benadryl. I was like, what am I going to do so that I can go to sleep? And I totally forgot I have sleepy time tea. So that's what I drank last night to help me get to sleep. And it took me about two hours after take, after drinking it, finishing the mug before I went to sleep. But I slept for, again, a good four and a half, five hours. I want to say I woke up at five something this morning. And it the sun was out. I was like, what the fuck? 
I'm so ready for a winner. And fall, can we can we fall back? I'm ready for it not to be light outside at five something in the morning. So tonight I have my mug of sleepy time tea steeping right now. I am going to read. It is almost nine thirty. So I'm going to read. I'm on page 150 in Balm. I'm just over halfway. Um, I'm just past the halfway point. I'm going to drink my tea around 11.30. And then that means I'll get to bed around 1.00. One, one, I'll go to sleep around 1.00, one, 1.30. And hopefully, I'll sleep till 6.00. What's up? It is Friday. Yes, this is my reading diary. I ain't reading a damn thing. <laughs> what are we doing? A wine tasting at the museum. This is our first time coming to this. We won't. We won't expect all of this. Oh yeah. Look away. I'm not walking in the grass because I don't want to have to take Benadryl tonight. I'm winning. It would be great if people were actually in the museum. So let's go in the museum.
I was really about to lose it if there was something in, in there. Like when I saw the little gauze, I was like, hold the hell up. No, but it's just the, oh, shit on a stick. Holy shit on a stick. That's the actual mummy. I was not ready. <laughs> Me either. I, I was not prepared. Like I thought it was gauze, and I was like, okay, I, I can deal with that. <laughs> now that I was not, I thought it already got close. Jenny wrapped in linen, wrapped in gauze. Omg. So are the bodies, the bodies not so it like no, this? Okay. Okay. Needless to say, I ain't getting much reading done today. No Friday read. We did read. We read the things, don't we? We read the shit in the exhibit. That is absolutely right. Reading is funny. Demental. <laughs> oh my god. We should get a t-shirt that says, reading is fun. Demental. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's up? Technically it is Sunday the 11th, but we're gonna call it the 10th still. It's three minutes after midnight <laughs> on the 11th and I am still reading Balm. I have this much left and I probably would have finished this tonight, but my mom just left and I actually did leave out earlier. And I've just been real lazy today. I had some errands to run this morning, but I am going to read until I can't keep my eyes open anymore. And who knows, I may finish this because there may be 20 pages left in this book. So I may actually finish this tonight or early this morning. Okay, so I haven't done any reading today, but I did record a book review and while I was recording the book review, a wasp or dirt dauber, some flying, possibly stinging, big black insect made an appearance. <laughs> and now I don't know where it is. It's not making any noise. I don't even know how it got into the house. I mean, I, I, it obviously came in at some point while I was going in and out today. But I try to be very, very careful about that stuff because I don't like bugs, particularly flying ones because I'm short. <laughs> and so getting them out of my house is always an issue because I'm short. And I have no idea where this thing is now. I have absolutely no idea where it is. That's gonna bug me all day. If I get some reading done tonight, I'm going to start Asteroids Made of Dragons by G. Derek Adams. This is the first book that I got in my Book Bath Box subscription, but it is the second box that Winks did. I missed out on the first box because money. So, yeah. I do have a goal. I want to stay as current as possible with the books that we get in the boxes, and it's going to take me a minute to get to Midnight Never Come, which is the one that we got before Behind the Throne. But um, it's gonna take me a minute to get to that because I've already started. It's by Marie Brennan, the same author of the Memoirs of Lady Trent series. Is I've already started that series, so I wanna read that first. I'm talking more than I'm into. So yeah, I'm about to edit. And hopefully, before I go to sleep tonight, I will find this freaking bug. It is Monday, the 12th. It's not even that late, it's like 10.33, but I can barely keep my eyes open, so I am going to let Buffy out, put the trash out, and go to bed. I did start Asteroid Made of Dragons tonight. I only got about 15 pages in, 
but I'm hoping to be able to devote some time to it tomorrow. Tomorrow is local election day, so I'm going to do that in the morning before work, and then we'll see what happens after work. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Veggie chicken sandwich thing. I think it's good. I want to be a vegetarian. You want to be a vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> it was so what? <laughs> okay. That was a bust. <laughs> it was. It was. It was a pretty. Uh, it was. A, it, it was a bust. The highlight was vegan chicken salad. Yeah. Yes, that was the freaking delicious. <laughs> it was absolutely delicious. And we know now where we can go get it. And we will be going to get it. Mm. On the 16th. On the, well, mm. on the Monday after the 16th. <laughs> and we want to get it, um, a bucket of Yep, we're gonna get as much as we can. She says to get everything that you can in the container for eight dollars. On on meat um, Monday. That is amazing. Are you still on? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still I'm still recording. Oh, and the barbecue. Yeah, that, and the barbecue store that Elwood Thompson. Uh huh. Yeah. The jackfruit barbecue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you come here next year, make sure. We're not inviting people to come here. We're not telling them where here is. Uh, no, you you're not. Them. I will edit it out of this video yeah. so fast. Watch for doo-doo. I'm going to say artwork. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Are you really taping us? <laughs> That's all just wet back there. That's all just wet. Look at the boy, there's a playground. Oh, the playground, what am I saying? No, what is a playground? I don't think it's a playground. At least I know how to play Good job. Hi! Yeah. <sighs> really, you just have no words. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what we expected it to be. We were so excited and ready. And then oh, we were just disappointed. I got a question. Is it bad? That I want? Oh, wait. We're not recording. Yeah, it is recording. I couldn't see the light. Uh, Go ahead. Is it bad that I want like a burger from leaving the vegetable? No. Not the vegetarian vessel. No. I was not satisfied. What does that mean? Satisfied. satisfied. Oh. No, oh, it's my, not bad at all. We were oh. For better or worse, and um, in the that um, not vegetarian festival, really. And, but and the woman, and the woman said, "Are you ready to have a?" Oh, a, come over here. This uh, like let her dog do do. The lady said, "Wobble." The lady said, "Oh my God, my arm is baking." Your, your wedding is gonna be a full effect. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she said. I want to lay in the ice bath. I want to go in the pool. I want to go outside. Oh, no, no, no. Can't, can't in the rain. 